Hey everyone, this is James from One Objective Bass Fishing. Today I'm going to be going over the installation of the kayak kill protector by One Objective Bass Fishing. Be some install instructions and how to's. Hey, it's James from One Objective. We're going to be putting on the kayak kill protector on my Bonafide SS127 today. And some of the tools you're going to need is a heat gun, of course your kill protector, some thinner, acetone, 200 grit sandpaper, a rag, and a sharpie. To start the process of the installation of your kayak kill guard, first you want to take your kill protector. Go ahead and undo this. This is just packaging, so you can just throw that stuff right away. Take your kill protector, set it on your kayak, and kind of mark where you want to start your kayak kill protector. You're going to put you just a mark, just so you have a little mark to go by, there, and on the bottom of your kayak, so you know where to sand to. The next step, Take your 200 grit sandpaper and you're going to rub this. It doesn't have to be, don't get crazy with it. Just rough it up enough to, so it's not a slick surface. Next step, take your thinner. Put it on a clean rag. And wipe it down. What you're trying to do is just pull oils and all that stuff, especially if you use like 303s or something like that. Make sure you clean it with thinner really, really well. That stuff will actually kind of seat into the plastic a little bit. I don't use 303 on mine, so just wipe it down, let it sit for a couple minutes normally, but just for the insulation purposes in the video, we'll keep going. You also, if you're using 303s and stuff like that, you might want to just let it sit for like a day and then come back and wipe it down one more time and just kind of let it bake and just kind of let that sun just kind of get some of the um, oils and everything from the 303 out of it or anything like 303. And then go ahead and take your acetone, put it on here and wipe it down with the acetone really well. We'll take the heat gun and just kind of speed up the process of the drying. Sometimes you might even want to just heat the surface just so it's kind of warm for installation. next step in the process go ahead and take your kill protector and kind of lay it out and you can use a hair dryer or anything like that just to put some heat on the kill protector beforehand it doesn't want to you don't want to get it really hot but it just makes it a little bit easier you can even let it sit out in the sun for a little while just to kind of make it a little easier especially if it's in cold months and stuff like that you're going to definitely want to heat it up Go ahead and take it, put it on your mark, if you 
ahead, peel the tape back just a little bit, go ahead and center it up, stick the two sides, go ahead and get it started, and go ahead and peel the rest of it off. Take and put a little bit of pressure on it as you come around, centering it up. Go ahead and apply it. Make sure it's on there really, really good. If you have a roller or anything like that, which I forgot mine in the house, that would be the best thing to do. If not, just apply firm pressure all the way across it. Like it's okay for the kill protector to be warm to the touch before installation. It's just going to make it keep memory a lot better. After you've done that process, go ahead and apply just a little bit more heat. That's pretty much for the installation of the kayak kill protector from One Objective. Thank you for tuning in to One Objective Bass Fishing. I hope you enjoyed the video of the kayak kill protector install. One little side note, um, when you're putting it in and out of your truck, this, there is a little lip here. Just be careful of that. Um, you don't want to grab it on the back of a tailgate or anything like that. Um, it's definitely not bulletproof, um, but it sure will help keep your kayak looking really nice in the future. So if you've liked this video, if you'll please hit that subscribe button and like this video, and I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.